Hello, Cancer. Thank you for tuning into my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support, and I send it right back to you guys. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. This reading resonates. With that being said, let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity. What messages do you have for the sign of Cancer at this time? Please and thank you. What messages do you have for a sign of cancer at this time? Please and thank you. So you've been receiving some sort of communication from your spirit guys. They're wanting you to know that whatever it is that is triggering you at this current moment is, is your spirit guys, it's the universe intentionally triggering you to set your, to set you free of a particular situation. So if you've been feeling triggered by a particular situation, that is intentional. Because whenever you're mirroring something is to get it out, to get it out, to bring it to the surface so that it can heal. Ultimately, it's ending in some sort of forgiveness and that brings healing. So in, in order for you to reach this phase where you're able to forgive a particular person or just to bring forgiveness to a particular situation, there was healing that needed to take place. Someone could be sad because they're wanting communication from you. They're missing you at this time. But it looks like ultimately someone here is going through some sort of dark night of the soul before this communication can take place whether it's the both of you or just one of you So the temperance being the overall energy that is Sagittarius energy. In the future or in the near future, they're wanting you to remain silent about a particular situation because Whenever the King of Swords pops up in the reverse, this is someone whose their presence speaks volumes here. There, there's no need for words. So some of you guys may want to have it out with some people here, but they're saying there's no need to even do all that because your presence alone is intimidating enough to a group of individuals here and th these individuals may be people that you had good times with at some point but now you're realizing something about a particular situation the knight of pentacles showing up in the reverse 
in the recent past because nice are all about movement but when they're in the reverse so there wasn't any movement Someone took a risk not to take movement here. Why did they take a risk to take move, uh, not to take movement? Well, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. This is someone, it's sort of like a lazy energy. Someone who took a, like, they gambled on something. Could have came across as like a lazy lover as well. Why is this Knight of Pentacles in reverse in the recent past? Judgment in reverse and the High Priestess in reverse. It looks like someone didn't want to take action towards someone because they didn't want... It's almost like someone had a bad reputation here. Or at least someone didn't take action towards someone because their judgment of this person was that they didn't have good intentions towards them with the high priestess in reverse. But the thing with the high priestess being in reverse, whoever this person was that didn't take action, they weren't listening to their intuition. They were listening to the people around them and the people that were around them that were giving them the advice had poor judgment. They weren't giving them good advice. Tell me more about this Three of Cups. Four of Swords. It definitely looked like a group of individuals that at some point they enjoyed each other's company. They had good times together. Um... It looks like some people were trying to uplift someone during a period of healing for someone, but at the same point, these same individuals are now turning against a certain individual, or this was all a facade because... It looks like some people having a good time while someone is in the process of healing and they're all pointing their fingers at this person like they're to blame. But they were attacking this person. They were doing things. And the Seven of Wands always comes. The Seven of Wands comes after the Six of Wands. So the Six of Wands talks about victory, success, Someone who gets a lot of attention. Someone who gets a lot of recognition. And it also attracts haters. People that are jealous. So that's when you reach the seven of wands. When you have all these people trying to attack you. Trying to say that you don't deserve to be at a certain place. To be in a certain position. They're trying to discredit you. So it looks like someone who was going through a period of healing was also being discredited as well. So instead of being able to heal, they had to defend themselves against some people and they were enjoying what they were doing to this individual. They actually were having a good time doing this. And whoever this individual is, they were literally in the process with the Four of Swords popping up here. This person needed to heal. Some of you guys, this person may have been hospitalized. If they weren't hospitalized, they were literally pushed to the point where like they, they could have had a mental breakdown and it was a lot going on for this person. This is popping up in like current energy. So this could have recently happened or it's about to happen or it's happening now for someone. But there's some, and I'm getting, I've literally got some evil people here. Just 
nasty intentions here because they're actually having a good time doing this. They know someone's in the process of healing and during this time that they see that this person needs time to heal, they're attacking them. That's because they're too weak to attack them when they're strong, but at the same point, they're still too weak to even attack them while they're at, in a place of healing. And that just shows how much of a coward they are, how weak they truly are, because they still couldn't take this person out. And look how many of them it took to even try to come against one person. Now, with the King of Swords showing up in the reverse, it's definitely giving me the energy, someone wanting to like speak their mind, but they're biting their tongue, or at least you're being advised to just shut up about the situation because your presence alone speaks value. You are intimidating enough just your presence alone. Because you found peace within, there's no need to allow yourself to be drawn back into some sort of chaos and conflict here. Tell me more about the King of Swords in reverse. Tell me more about the King of Swords in reverse. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the Hermit in reverse. That God in light has went out. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So the Queen of Pentacles, when she's in the upright, she's the type of person. She is so loving, nurturing. She's the type of person everyone wants to be at her home. They all want to be around her. She creates a lot of stability. When she's in reverse, is she's very materialistic manipulative condescending I'm getting someone here. You had a tendency. I'm getting not only were you very forgiving, very. You were always there for these type of energies. The manipulators. Codependent one way or the other. Materialistic, very superficial individuals as well. And it's like you're ready to let them have it, but there's no need to even do it. All you need to do is just completely withdraw your energy from these individuals, and that's their punishment. Because you've been some sort of God in light. I'm getting some of you guys, they even came to you for insight as well, for guidance, for direction during like their troubling times here. And now that they no longer have that guiding light, they're really lost here because this person, they have this fire lit in the woods. But say you're in the middle of the woods at night, even in the middle of the woods during the day, if you don't know where you're at, that's scary. But in the middle of the night, you don't have any light. You don't know where you're at. Some of you guys were that light for some individuals here or an individual. But that light has now gone out. You're no longer giving your energy to this situation. Because you realize you are being taken advantage of. You see their true colors. And you're over it. 
You're over it. You're speaking your truth. Some of you guys are going to be able to see a situation from a distance here. What's going on? By the way, you're not going to have front row seats because you're taking, you're removing yourself. Fire, strong emotion, passionate love or hate. Okay, this one wants to come. Peace and harmony, so it is passion and love. Something is definitely coming in with the wind chimes here. That's bringing a lot of peace and harmony into your life. I'm definitely getting it as a romance because it's something, someone that you'll, you're going to have strong emotions for. Passionate love making between you and someone here. But it's also a lot of peaceful energy. Some of you guys I'm getting during the fall. like July, August for some of you guys during Leo season. I'm taking two. I said I'm not taking two and then, you know what's funny, here goes the forest popping up. Muddled, unclear thinking, shields, you need to defend yourself. So it's these people here that you left out in the woods. You left them out in the forest. These are the people that you felt the need to defend yourself from. And you left them out there. And I'm going to tell you guys what some of you guys have been having like some clouded thinking. Like you can't even think straight when you're around certain individuals here. That's letting you know. Your energy is letting you know something's not right with these individuals. Something's off here. You need, like, your defenses are going up. But this is just clarity. You left or you're being guided to leave some people a situation out in the woods. Let them find their own way. Stop trying to guide these people. Because they're sitting up here, they're playing these games, and they actually enjoy bringing chaos and conflict into other people's lives, including yours. Trust the guidance you're receiving. Some of you guys have been questioning yourself. You've been questioning the guidance that has been coming through for you. Your intuition here. And they're telling you to trust it. You're in your right frame of mind. Your prayers are being answered regarding a particular situation. So don't stress about it. There's transformation that's taking place regarding a particular situation that you've been praying about. Trust in divine purpose. Yes, you are correct. I'm seeing that some of you guys, like your intuition is on point about a person or a particular situation, especially some of you guys that are asking about love and you're asking about a particular person. Because I'm seeing that you, some of you guys know the person that you're going to end up being with because I'm seeing you jumping for joy. 
because things are working out between you and someone here. But I'm going to leave it there. These are messages that came through for you guys at this time. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. This reading resonates. With that being said, you all take care.